Hello, hello, dear Cancer, and thank you for joining me here on the extended version of your reading for 2023. It is a general reading. Thank you for joining me here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on because the last card I took was the Three of Swords. And I do feel that you, some of you are releasing your ex where love is concerned. This could be an ex uh, business partner. It doesn't have to be only romance. It is the romance angel. So it does lean towards romance more. And as we started off the reading, you have a, you do have a Knight of Cups and a King of Swords. And I don't know if... Um, this King of Swords, even if it's not an air sign, could be any sign. Maybe this is someone that grew up in uh, an, I don't know, they had, they felt orphaned. Maybe they grew, grew up with one parent only. So maybe they lost a parent and uh, they could have self-worth issues, which does affect you greatly. And I, I do see even with the Five of Swords here, for many of you, that the also the how can I say it the the conflict uh, could be you having uh, internal conflict with yourself and this is a heavy burden because you feel great attraction here right but you also feel a sense of responsibility I feel here so for others of you. This could be you um, having been abandoned in the past and you don't trust easily. Okay, some of you feel here in April, May, June that you'll be taken for a ride. But the engagement card could also be an offer that's really there on the table. And some of you may see a partner as being very impulsive. It will be different for each of you. Anyway, what I want to do now is I want to take the Fin de, de Sequel Kipper, the fortune telling cards, and see what's going on in the first three months. Before I take that, I want to see, I want to take one more card on the Eight of Cups. For the month of March, why do you have the Eight of Cups here? And you've got the Sun. So whatever you're emotionally planning or waiting on, some sort of a move, you may also be physically going to a sunny place. Or, I mean, the Sun is happiness, is it not? The Sun does speak to a risk, right? It's clarity, it's healing, it's... The sun on top of the eight of cups. Feels as though emotionally you're seeing a person at a distance, like being your son. Remember, the sun speaks to happiness, it speaks to, it speaks to childlike energies, but it also speaks to wanting to take a risk. It's Leo energy. Let's look, let's look and see. There could be something going on in the month of March, which emotionally can sort of heal you, um, help you emotionally for a, for a while. And the sun means love. It means true love, does it not? Bad health. This could be psychological health. Interesting that we've got bad health and orphaned. So someone out there could be lo losing, could be losing someone physically. It looks like a male could be an elderly male. And that could be uh, something that sort of holds you back from this emotional change. Um change okay someone's possible health or psychological issues are holding you back from change this is dear cancer this is your card it's the chariot 
it's it speaks to transition change movement and remember change and a transition can also speak to someone going up to heaven okay let's see the next month some of you could also be thinking of moving house the chariot does remind me of a house move in the next three months april may june you have a gift logically it comes from someone innocent we saw it would see baby hands so it could have to do with children or just youthful energy right so this there's, there's a sense of a gift which gives you fresh energies here and you've got the ace of cups and the dionysos so let's see what is this gift this could be a gift of an offer to take your relationship to the next level um, the gift could also be a get together an offer let's get together the three of cups could also be and it's in the month of may it, it seems like a happy month it really does there's something that comes in that's really that will really make you happy and it's the main female so uh if you're a female this could be you if you're a male then this is the female you're thinking about let's take one more card on the f main female and we've got occupation so it could be around work could be around something that you're wanting to build with a group of people or or something that seems like a gift feels uh, from someone they think they're doing you a favor whereas for you it feels like hard work and it could be that leap of faith the uh the inability to take the next step because there's distrust or there's it's just too too quick there's fear of illusion being taken for a fall here as well for some of you let's look at the uh, july september months we've got marriage and we've got the main male we've got the main female and the main male we in actual fact there's three people here you can see that can you not the main male would be this knight. we are talking about someone younger we've got a knight of cups and a knight of pentacles here which is on the moon card which can be a secret connection and the marriage is on the ten of wands really there's the five of swords here and you've got an observer here be careful if you are dealing with someone else outside of a marriage do be careful someone is checking you out you can get caught out now some of you could be catching a partner out doing this um, that you don't know about so let's look at october november and december we have the hierophant the fool the strength card in the lovers path tarot we've got the strength card which speaks of trust trust is very important we've got the tower the tower at uh, first the tower came out and then i took the full because i needed to see what the tower was about so i took a second card and it's the full so this tower will give way to a brand new chapter and you've got the six of cups and the world card and the three of swords let's take two cards here we've got toil and labor and we've got great fortune so there you go i always see the tower as a blessing whatever felt like really heavy and laborious for you how to get out of a codependent unhealthy relationship partnership um remember time for a nap you're suffering with exhaustion here don't be the fool something happens here and your luck changes great fortune comes in 
um, which can speak to possible legalities. Remember, you're releasing your ex. I don't know if you're going to separate or divorce because you're ending a very large journey, a karmic journey. Now, of course, with the world card uh, next to the six of cups, you could also be dealing, connecting with someone that is at a physical distance or lives in another country or um, could be a foreigner, could be someone that's quite wealthy as well. I want to take one more on the great fortune. And you've got the child. Oh, my God. Yes, this is so positive. I'm so happy that the child came through here. And I have spoken about a child and orphaned. The child speaks to newness and it speaks to happiness. Uh, it speaks to the inner child, happiness, the happiness of the heart. But also some of you... Uh, feel as though your children are a great fortune for you and in your life. Now, I don't know if you are in a marriage and you are needing to do the work because you're going through going through a, a tower moment, maybe releasing an ex. You've got a small child here. Uh, this could also be some sadness where the little child is concerned. It could be the third party. All this is costing you a fortune. A divorce could be costing you a fortune. Now, remember what I said about uh, a child of yours uh, being tricked into, I don't know, taking drugs or alcoholism or just needing to escape a difficult situation. I don't know. For me, the child is very positive and I want to take one more card on that Three of Swords. No, not a card, Sabila's. I want to take some Sabilas on that Three of Swords and the World card and the Child. Now we've got the Denaro, which is the Six of Cups. It's a, it's like the Ace of Pentacles. It's the safe and it's an advantageous matrimony. It feels as though the Three of Swords is someone that you're leaving behind. I don't feel that this is a difficult ending for you. This could be a soulmate, which will end up being a marriage partner, a long-term partnership in business, which will bring great ab abundance with the world card, I feel here. And there it is, the Gran Consolación, great consolation at the end of the year. Let's see where you are emotionally for each quarter, dear Cancer. For Cancer, where are they emotionally? January, February, March, in the first quarter, dear spirit. Where are they emotionally? Communication. A lot of back and forth. This could be spiritual communication. Okay. Let's take them since they opened up. They're settling. Lots of communication back and forth. It could be with spirit. It could be just... Um, uh, telepathy with a, a certain individual here uh, but it means just quick energies and then stop settling it's like something stops you in your tracks it's like you're planning strategizing a move something is happening really fast and then all of a sudden something plays out and change is not possible here at this time you're at a crossroads here and there are self-worth issues here this does remind me of the Aquarius energy. It's, it feels like freedom. Uh, remember the uh, sacrifice here. This is a time of very important decisions in the first three months of the year for you, dear Cancer. You're at a crossroads. Some of you could be in uh, possible separation. It's like a journey, a physical, uh, an emotional or a metaphorical journey choices you've got choices the signposts show you towards your freedom and self-worth instead of settling and you needed to trust your intuition it was screaming out to you and this could be the aha moment that you have with that tower in january let's look at april may june the answer is yes and return okay the return usually brings someone from the past. 
the, we've got the gift, the main female, and the occupation. So I don't know if this is someone that you've been working with. We do have the Nine of Wands, the Three of Cups, which can speak to a reconciliation, catching up with someone from your past. I mean, the engagement doesn't have to be engagement. It could be just taking your relationship to the next level. You've got good cards with the answer is yes and the return. Um, maybe if you've been wondering if someone is going to return, the answer is yes then in this second quarter. Uh, maybe hard for them to return with the occupation. Speaks to hard labor. Or someone is putting in the effort to return to your life. Uh, and they're coming through as more loving this time, I would say, with a yang card in the reverse. Remember the Dionysus. So I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign that's returning from the past. Um, let's look at July, August, September with the Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Moon and the Knight of Pentacles here. You've got stuck. This is Capricorn energy. You are stuck here. There's a mirroring, the mirroring card, and usually in this, in this Mystic Moon Oracle with the mirroring card, I don't usually see the swan, which the swan does speak to love, remember? It's very elegant. It's very... Mm, just serene and beautiful so it does speak to romance but here we've got like a reflection it feels like you're both you and a partner both feeling stuck spirit is saying go close to water get out of the mud um, get unstuck and summer summer is a very happy card it promises a lot so we've got water and sand uh something about going i don't know the eight of wands visiting a place close to water in summer this will give you some relief but also you may be finding out because the eight of wands can speak to communication that your other half has been feeling the same as you sort of stuck summer promises a lot summer can speak to happiness now, of course, this is July, August, September, which is summer in the Northern Hemisphere. There's some form of promise here. I will take three Sibylas on that. But let's have a look at October, November and December for you. We have, there's the word abandoned again. There it is. So emotionally, you're abandoning the uh, heavy work or you are dealing with the abandonment issues or you're abandoning, abandoning someone that was very unhealthy for you. They, feel, they may feel abandoned because of the codependency and pay attention to the red flags. Um, someone is having issues, abandonment issues. Could also be a child of yours. There's the third party, so abandoning a third party situation. The karma has been received. There is a stop to a third party situation and someone is dealing with self-worth, uh, abandonment issues from their childhood. But I do feel that this is going to be, it's going to be, could be in the month of November, I would say, that this third party and uh, in December, this is where the stop happens, right? Because there are faded changes here with a great fortune. Truths come through. Um, it could be also, you could also be dealing possibly with legalities here. Those of you that are releasing your ex. Or someone got gets the message here. They've been caught out. They've been um, doing the wrong thing by you and it's as though they're putting a stop they're not going to give you a hard time i do feel that some of you that are releasing your ex they will understand that they've done you wrong and even though they won't like it it will be it won't be that difficult for you i believe here but here in the april may june 
era you are returning to the past it's a yes month which seems very positive for me it also the last month here in september seems to be an okay month um maybe also psychologically i mean we've got the sun and the moon here this is like a seed that's planted in this time what's at the bottom and we've got purge you are purging anything unhealthy this is a pluto card now let's see what did i want to see i want to just see the What's going on here? We have the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. And we've got the Bambino. Look, this could be only for, for many of you. I mean, these are very positive cards indeed. It's like the ending of your burden is showing up here, right? But we do have three cups if you look at it. It's the Two and the Ace. And there's the Bambino. So there's the potential. There's a potential for a, a pleasant conversation meeting around a table pertaining to a soulmate connection. In the summer, it could possibly be in the last month. So let's say first month of autumn, September. September, right? Uh, you're both feeling the same. You're both wanting to connect. Even though July seems to be a month of being stuck. But you are attracting romantic love by enjoying this moment fully even though there's challenges here with the five of swords third parties we also have the observer so do take note of that do take care what you don't know is that there's a lot of happiness that's going to come through the bambino means new beginnings um, and remember, it's the Seven of Pentacles, which also shows up here. There's some good news around a home, uh, a family, business, some sort of a deal. A Two of Cups is an agreement. Invest, investing money, um, investing into a new situation, a new... A new chapter in your life ace of cups is here but it's up here as well so the middle of the year seems to be uh i should say the first the second quarter seems to be very much about romance these the third quarter also shows this but, but there's more challenges here not to say that there are not challenges here but but there's also great fortune and there's happiness in this, the child. So remember that timing will not be the same for all of you. I mean, three cups can speak to reconciliation. Remember the return, the three of cups is up here as well. There could be also something in relation to a child here. Some happiness connected to a child. And some sort of changes connected to a child. Remember, we've got the Sun card here on the Eight of Cups. So in the month of March, it sort of uh, reminds us here in this area. Could be some news about some travel or an emotional journey or something, some good news here. This could also be, I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is here, which... Knight of Pentacles could be an older son um, that is very strategic and very um, very good at what they do. I mean, it is the Virgo card, so it can relate to work uh, subjects. Money matters. <clears throat> Excuse me, money matters as well. Anyway, I think that I will leave it there, dear Cancer. I hope that this helped. There are so many messages here. You do leave... Uh, the year on a really really wonderful note it's a mixed bag of goodies and it is for everyone remember 
that these tears of sadness may turn into tears of joy. I just want to take a peek beneath the release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So the soulmate has come in before you release your ex. And that's one of my favorite cards, the soulmate card. So I'm wishing you well, dear Cancer. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Ta-da.